Yo, what's up guys, this is Fade, and today I'm going to be speaking about a pretty controversial topic brought up in Warface. Which SMG is better, the Karkum SMG or the Metasoma? And I know they recently reintroduced the Karkum SMG, which is why it's such a hot topic at the moment, and I'll try to go over everything stat-wise and let you guys know my opinion at the end. Okay, so let's start off with the most basic feature of both of these guns, which is the damage. Um, as you can see, the damage on the Metasoma is significantly greater than the Karkum SMG by a total of 7. But once we get to the RPM, you can see that now Karkum SMG beats the Metasoma by 90 rounds per minute. So you can say that the Metasoma's damage kind of makes up for the lack of RPM compared to the Karkum. Now as we get into the range, they both have an equal amount of 11 meters, which is good for most SMGs. Okay, so now let's get more in depth. Um, the minimum damage for the Metasoma is 36, while on the Karkum SMG it's 38, which is slightly greater. For both of these guns, the damage drop per meter is 2.1. So that basically means for every meter someone gets further away from you, the damage will drop by 2.1. It's very simple to understand, but as you can see, they both tied in that area. Okay, so now let's talk about the damage per second which is kind of important um on the metasoma it's 1025 damage total per second and on the karkum smg it's 1050 which is 25 more damage per second and now you see that the karkum smg's rpm made up for its lack of damage compared to the metasoma okay so now let's get into the reload speed on the metasoma it's 2.1 seconds and on the karkum smg it's 2.6 seconds which is half a second longer and you can also imagine that you're going to be finishing your clip faster when using the karkum smg compared to when using the metasoma due to the karkum smg's higher rpm okay so not only was the reload speed longer on the karkum smg but the select speed and deselect speed is also longer um, the select speed on the Metasoma is 200 milliseconds and on the Karkum SMG it's 350 milliseconds. And if you're an NG that switches a lot between your pistol or your armor kit, this is kind of an important stat. Okay, and now let's talk about the hit zone multiplicators. This basically explains how much damage you do to a specific hit zone, such as the body, legs, or arms. So for the Metasoma, shooting in the head does 4.2 times more damage than shooting on the body, while on the Karkum SMG, it's only 4 times more damage on the head than it is to the body. Also, the damage multiplier on the arms for the Metasoma is the same as the bodies. so even if you're shooting them on the arms, you're basically dealing the same amount of damage you would be if you were shooting them on the body, while on the Karkum SMG, the damage on the arms is 20% less than the damage on the body. Also, this is the recoil pattern for both SMGs. They're both really easy to control and and that pretty much sums it up. And now for my opinion, I think that the Metasoma is better. And that's also why you see most of the Russian pro engineers using the Metasoma over the Karkum. But yeah, it was a pretty close comparison. Uh, I think both SMGs are great and if you have the chance of getting either one, you should go for them. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the comparison and learned something from this. So yeah, peace.